Assalamualaikum, greeting and salutations to my intro to event lecturer, Dr. Lina Munira Viti Kamaruddin. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Muhammad Asri Aizad Ben Badrisham. The provided number matrix is 286602. Right now, I would like to present my video, which is titled, 5 Tips to Ensure an Event Run Smoothly. The first tips I would like to share on this video is to have an appropriate planning. To carry out a successful event, we must focus on the planning stage. This is the most important stage to achieve the proposed objectives. It is necessary to visualize what we want to achieve. Without this, we are not able to measure the result and verify that the proposed objective was achieved. And we will also need to decide on the strategies needed to achieve these objectives. For new event, this stage includes decision making on issues such as the type or form of the event, for example, festival or parade, the duration from beginning to ending of the event, location or venue that is the part of the most important because it will influence the people to come over to an event to feel the new experience. Parkings, in order to ensure that the event success, a complete parking control system with comprehensive plan and instrument is required. Major parts of the program that will contribute to the event's uniqueness or specialness. Additionally, event managers should be concerned of local views, especially rumors, which have the potential to make or break the host community's attitude toward the event. Furthermore, these plans need to be monitored and adjusted as appropriate in the light of changing circumstances and evaluated against the objective set for them and overall objectives of the event. Therefore, creating a plan which should include Murphy's Law, which states everything that may go wrong will be go wrong. That is why we need to have a backup plan or as we call it a plan B for at least we can still control the situation even though hard situation might occur during an event. After determining the purpose of an event, the event manager should uh, determine the event's goals and objectives. The objective must include SMART, which is specific, measurable, agreeable, realistic, and time-specific. Finally, having a proper and strategic planning, we should be able to minimize the risk. The following tips is the financial management. A budget is a financial plan as a guidance. While it is difficult to build and much more difficult to maintain, it benefits both planners and stakeholders. The budget provides the structure for how much money may be spent and requires planners to decide where to invest extra money throughout the planning process. Budgeting also enables us to set targets, which means we have to identify everything you are going to need and how much it will cost. A budget keeps the planning team on track and gives stakeholders a statistic. The ideal method to budget is to develop a procedure that can be reproduced across teams to establish a standard. After the event, this uh, event may be utilized to demonstrate event success. There are some tips on how to become a good financial management, which is monitor and control the event spending and income finance, monitoring and resourcing and allocation of money to control the budget of an event, establish budget guidelines to fit objectives, including sub-budget, prepare a draft budget for committee and sponsor arrival, Finally, evaluate draft budget and prepare final budgets and control ratios. Budgeting for an event enables event planners to operate within defined boundaries. There is always a limit to how much money may be spent on event. Knowing that figure, it only makes sense to keep track of special event expenditures to ensure the total amount of spend does not exceed the initial budgeted value. This will help us to prepare for every aspect of the event and ensure that we save instead of overspend. The best templates enables organizers to make this adjustment as often as is necessary, whether before, during, after, or in between of events, which is why a contingency plan is a must to take control during uncertain things. Throughout the planning phase, the budget must be prepared and up to date to reflect vendor contracts, updated price, and so on. Right now, we move on to the third tip which is crowd management. To begin, good crowd management contributes to the safety of all those present at an event, from attendees to workers and artists. When an event occurs, everyone there should be able to enjoy themselves without having to worry about their safety. 
On top of that, the crowd manager should ensure that an announcement is made stating the locations of exits and informing customers that they must leave the building in case of an emergency or if the fire alarm rings. Determine that you are completely aware the anticipated attendees at the, at the venue. It is critical that just the right number of tickets may be offered for tickets events. Since overselling may result in overcrowding, which can be very harmful for a variety of reasons. In crowd management, two forms of communication are critical, staff to staff and staff to visitors. Walkie-talkies are the most reliable and efficient means to communicate, although earpiece may also assist. Make sure all event security and crowd management staff are familiar with the terms and language to avoid misunderstanding and ensure smooth operational process. Not only that, with the help of security, will help keep guests and staff safe at this event. A good security team will also have reduced the risk of damage to venue, keeping those all important costs down. After an event, review what went well and what didn't, and make notes to improve on upcoming event. Your event will go and run smoothly when you prepare properly. Next, which is technical team and technology management. Advances in technology makes it easier for organizers to remain in contact with their audiences, sponsors, the media, and other government officials. In addition to allowing the event organizers to get vital input, this will also guarantee that individuals continue to feel valued long after the event has concluded. The right technology can make your event go from good to great. It can help you to get people, connection, excited about your events by integrating social media and games, organizing connections between delegates and special guests, and keeping track of how your events are going so you can improve them for the next event. These are some parts when considering the feature of event planning technology. Registration forms, this is to say your event registration software should enable you to develop a registration form that is customized, works on mobile devices and streamlines to process. Your event will be success if you create a fantastic first impression with your registrants. Attendee data management, keeping your data structured allows you to simply update attendees. Share reporting data with other planners and reduce the risk of human error, security, marketing capabilities, and support. In the event industry, AI has the potential to create accurate and personalized interactions from a larger universe of qualified individuals using a nearly unlimited pool of data. When combined with data gleaned from the registration process, it can enable a powerful matchmaking experience that prompts attendees to connect with each other based on common interests job titles, in the industries, or any number of other predefined factors. Using the most updated artificial intelligence AI, it is possible to increase audience satisfaction while also providing them with a once-in-a-lifetime experience. We move on to the final tips which is event engagement. Attendee engagement, which is also known as event engagement, is a term of how well an event can keep its audience attention and get them to take part in an event. From the start, they get the attention of the people who are there. Every level of the planning process requires event involvement. It may make the difference between a sold-out event and a failure. Engagement affects attending, audience retention, and future event success. Essentially, the more interesting an event is, is the more likely attendees will be satisfied and return. For example, having a live poll session, the speakers integrate a live poll, not only does it make the session more interactive, it also allows marketers to collect data which then leverage for future events to make them more relevant and helpful to attendees. This is because Live Poll is a feature that allows people to engage in real-time interactions online through consumable, interactive polls. Having people participate in polls is a great way to increase engagement because it allows people to engage easily and they can also feel that their voice is being heard. Live streaming is a great way to get people excited and connected with the person right away. You can make presentations showing people how things work and more. It helps you to connect better with the people during an event. A live stream can also have features such as live posts, quizzes and question and answer sessions. By this method, which lead more people will be interested. Provide a game or competition is a great way to increase audience engagement. By creating a competition for all attendees who registered, to participate, we were able to engage with the community and enable interesting conversations and relationship building. In conclusion, 
Here are the five tips and suggestions that I strongly recommend for. I hope that these suggestions will help us as an event organizer to planning with a high level of professionalism. Thank you for lending your time for watching this video. Thank you once again and have a good day everyone.